Mr. Klein Storytime. Hello, my name is Mr. Klein. I've been an elementary school teacher for almost 30 years, and I love reading stories to young people just like you. In fact, I've got a great story that I'd like to share with you right now. So let's get started. Max's Math by Kate Banks, pictures by Boris Kolikov. Max's Math Max had a problem. He was building a car, but he had only two wheels. He needed four. Two plus what equals four? Max went off to look for some wheels. He found one in the basement and another in the garage. Now he had four wheels. Two plus two equals four. He could finish building the car. Max started the car. Where are you going? asked Max's brother Ben. To look for problems, said Max. Why would anyone go looking for problems? asked Carl, Max's other brother. Because it's fun, said Max. Can we come? asked Carl. Sure, said Max. Carl and Ben climbed into the car, and off Max drove. He cruised down the highway past ten vehicles, two buses, three trucks, and five motorcycles. The road began to curve sharply. Stop! cried Carl. What's that? Max pulled over. An enormous number lay in the grass. It's a six said Ben. Or a nine? asked Carl. It's a mystery, said Max. We better take it with us, said Ben. Max exited the highway. To the left was Shapeville. To the right was Count Town. May I help you? asked the traffic officer. We're looking for problems, said Max. There are plenty in either direction said the officer. Max turned left and headed toward Shapeville. The town was littered with triangles, circles, ovals, and other shapes of all sizes. We're looking for the town square, said Max to the mayor. You won't find it, said the mayor. A storm passed through this morning and swept away all the squares. We don't have any left. No squares, said Max. He parked the car. Then he found two triangles in the rubble and put them together to make a square. Why, that's extraordinary, cried the mayor. Soon all the townspeople were piecing together shapes. Ben and Carl joined them. Ben made a sign. Carl made a kite. But suddenly the kite began to rise, and Carl went with it. Max grabbed Carl's leg and followed. Ben grabbed Max, and soon they were floating above ground. They passed five clouds, three birds, and one airplane. Then they drifted higher. Look at all the stars, said Ben. How are we going to get down? asked Carl. Dot to dot said Max. He connected the stars, and in no time they were flying toward Shapeville. Watch out! cried Ben. But it was too late. They crashed through a clothesline, scattering socks in all directions. Oh dear, my socks! cried a young man. Who will help me sort them? We will, said Max. Max and his brothers sorted the socks into pairs and hung them back on the clothesline. The young man chose a fancy pair and put them on, and just in time. The citizens of Shapeville had lined up and were marching out of town. Where is everyone going? 
asked Max. To Count Town, said the mayor. They are launching a rocket today. I'd like to see that, said Ben. Me too, said Carl. So Max and his brothers hopped into the car and followed the crowd. But all was not well in Count Town. Numbers were dashing here, there, and everywhere. What's going on? asked Max. We have a problem, whispered someone. A couple of numbers went missing during a game of hide-and-seek. We can't find number zero. Max and his brothers set off to look for the zero. They jumped onto a bench. Carl spied a bird's nest with eggs. Among them was the zero. Here it is, cried Carl. Oh, that's nothing, said the bird. Let it be. It's not nothing, said Carl. It's a zero, and without it, there wouldn't be a ten. Or a one hundred, said Ben. Or a rocket launch, said Max. Come on. Max gave the zero a push, and it rolled out of the nest and got in line next to the number one. We're ready for the countdown, said the mayor as everyone gathered at the launching site. A large rocket was poised skyward. Ten, nine, eight, seven, shouted the mayor, but suddenly he stopped. Where is the six? he cried. Hasn't anyone found it yet? Max opened the back of the car and took out the number six. Here it is, he said. It was hiding in the grass on the side of the road. Allow me to thank you, said the mayor. He awarded Max and his brothers a golden ruler. Then the countdown continued. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off! exclaimed the mayor, and the rocket burst into the sky. Afterward, there was a celebration, and Max and his brothers were invited. The people of Shapeville provided the cake, and the people of Count Town brought the ice cream. When the party was over, Max and his brothers drove home. It was nine o'clock. Bedtime, said Max. We're not tired, said Carl. How can we sleep, said Ben. I know, said Max, climbing into his bed, and he counted sheep to fall asleep. The End Thank you for coming to Storytime. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I read new stories every week, so be sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to hear another one. Hope to see you again soon.